Hey everyone, welcome back to Elemental Cartomancy. This is Chris, and I am here today to film a walkthrough of the Modern Love Tarot by Anthony. Alright guys, so as I say, this is made by Ethany. Ethany wrote the book and put together the concept for the deck. Um, it was illustrated by Lucy Morningstar. Um, it comes in this box, which is kind of a rose petal -y. I'm not sure if you would say this is a rose petal, but it's a nice soft mat. Um, it's a magne magnetic flip box. Um, and it's, it's quite a deep box. It's a good... It's a good solid box, keeps the cards safe, fits them all in obviously. Um, the deck comes with these two extra cards. Um, you've got an interview spread here. Um, companion course. Uh, and this is just love is beautiful in all its forms. A wee quote. Um, so these are the extra cards that you get. The book that comes with this. Um, is it's pretty chunky. It's the size of the deck, you know. It's a it's a card sized book, but it's thick. Um, and the reason being for each card, you're getting. So this is really uh, geared towards doing love readings. Um, and you really get that from the from the book. Um, so for each card, you're getting the general love meaning, the single and loving it interpretation. The ready for love slash dating, committed relationship, struggling relationship, and the end. And then we're on to the next card. So, what I would say is, if you were just using this deck to read for some sort of general situation that wasn't necessarily love, so say you were... Um, picking this up to do a career reading for someone you're probably going to struggle to get like interpretations from the book that are going to match your reading so that's just something to bear in mind um apart from the you know the the interpretations there's a good wee bit in this about you know it gives you a good introduction how to use the guidebook there's several spreads um so what is the future of my relationship spread will they come back spread finding the one tarot spread is the relationship over tarot spread self love tarot spread and then we're into the majors and i think it just goes all the way through the minors and then it's pretty much the end there might be a bit about the authors yeah there's about the creator and about the artist and then that's us so that's the book the cards themselves let me give you a size comparison to a uh, smithway which is a kind of a standard us game size so bigger and broader um but i wouldn't say that it's unmanageable it's quite quite nice to hold in the hand um albeit i do have quite big hands it's a nice papery card stock i would compare it to like the i've got the second edition of the new choice tarot de marseille the the front feels like that these are the backs now as you can see they've got this gold embossing on them um, and you can feel that on the backs um, it looks and feels amazing so it does is what i would say and um the deck is gilded gold um it's nice and flexible i've riffle shuffled this deck quite a lot you can actually see that i've been riffle shuffling it i don't know if you can properly see that if the camera's picking it up but the gold does wear away a wee bit at the corners and whatnot that's only to be expected with gilded though i think that's only fair um so yeah really nice um, so let's charge on through the majors. We've got our full, um, and the the painting behind the full here is the the birth of Venus. Um, so this was in Venus or Aphrodite was um, traditionally born from the sea um, and then blown a uh, blown ashore on the seashell. 
Um, so you could look at this as being the birth of love, and the fool is like the the kind of a, the, the new beginnings card. Um, and this is a deck about love reading, so it makes sense to have that painting there. Um, our magician, quite traditional with the tools on the table. Um, she's very. Um, I feel as though this magician is very seventies. I don't know if you'd agree with that. It's just the the hairstyle. There's something about it. There's something that puts me in mind of like, I don't know, some sort of seventies James Bond character or something. Our high priestess. So we're getting the pomegranates. We're getting the the Boaz and Yakin with the black and the white. Uh, bookshelves which is quite cool um and the the high priestess looks to be a wee bit older to me which is nice it's nice to see different age groups and different body sizes represented our empress i think is absolutely stunning if you're not into pregnant empresses then this maybe isn't one for you but i don't have an issue with it i think it's beautiful i love in particular, I love this. I'd love to have this painting hung up on the wall. Um, I just think the artwork here is stunning. The Emperor. The chest set. It's pretty nice. Something quite androgynous looking about this um, individual. Uh, it almost looks like a drag king. I don't know if that's intentional. Um... But we get the idea of strategy and all that from the, the chess game going on. Um, we've got an Egyptian feel for the Hierophant, which is nice. It's nice to not have the damn Pope. Lovers. We have a um, female female couple, uh, couple. And the snake as well. Beautiful. Our chariot. Our little dogs. Really, really stunning. Strength card. We have a family of lions here. The hermit card is beautiful. Whoops. not catch too much glare but yeah I think this card is stunning it's the way that the light has been captured in that white cloak it's really really nice another really stunning piece of artwork Wheel of Fortune A justice card, so this looks like maybe couples counselling that's happening here. So, um, the, this is obviously the objective point of view, um, doing what's fair, you know, trying to get the facts of the situation and act on the facts and nothing else, take the emotion out of it. The hanged man. He's lying the wrong way around on his bed. You actually see the tree of life represented on the pillow here, which is pretty cool. Death, butterflies, and the skull. Really nice. You can see the scythe in the background as well there. See that? Temperance, so we're cooking, we're bringing together different uh, ingredients, mixing them in just in the right way, in the right quantities, in order just to create something. And I love that it's, um, you know, I love the family, you know, all coming together and doing it together. The, you see the angel on the fridge as well, that's quite cool. The angel looks like it's 
so that it looks like the you know like it's a kid's drawing of the mum but you see how what it's wearing reflects more what the what this parent is wearing so it's like a combination of the both devil Dominatrix. Tower. Do I actually see much of a tower here, but we do have all this beautiful lightning. And lightning, lightning is what brings about the change. It's the lightning that's important in the tower card, because that's what's changing things. Um, and that's what we want to try and be. We want to try and be the lightning, you know. When we know something, a shake up is needed. We want to be the ones to, um, to bring about the change, rather than sit about and have it happen despite us. Star, we have all the constellations. And we've got two people lying on the on the grass looking up. The moon again lying on the ground, but in quite a different, quite a different mood to this one than with the star. This person's got their hands clasped over their heart, and we see the two canine creatures up on the on the cliff there. The moon is absolutely stunning the way that it's reflected in the water. The sun. Again, we seem to have this. I don't, they're not li I don't think she's lying down, but we have this similar kind of a upward shot of them. The joy in the kid's face. I remember when my niece was a baby. She used to love being thrown, thrown up in the air like that. Sometimes it was one of the only things that would calm her down. Strange, isn't it? Judgment. So we're seeing it from the grave. So we are. And we see this person reaching down to help us out. And the world dancer. With the four fixed signs of the zodiac represented here. Okay, so that's our majors. Our minors, so let's start off with our wands suit. So we have our ace of wands. So I think we're maybe seeing kind of a, the, the blank slate maybe you know the pastures and what you can spread out or is it are we seeing pink flowers in those I'm not sure but it, it gives a sense of potential so it does anyway two of ones not really sure what to make of that what are we doing are they swapping numbers, maybe? Not sure. Three. She's got her map and she's setting out with her backpack. So you get the idea this is her taking the first steps on the journey. I've seen number three up here above the house. Four. Get our traditional marriage celebration. It's really beautiful. Five of Wands. Looks like there's been a bit of a fight. She's packed her cases. Or copious amounts of suitcases. Six. 
six of wands. Victorious. Seven. Eight. Nine. There's the argument going on behind them as you sick of it. And then the 10. I love the WTF in the background. Okay. So our page. Playing superheroes. Going on an adventure. Night. It's a much more calm feel than the usual Knight of Wands. This look, this feels more like a Knight of Pentacles to me. Queen of Wands. And our King of Wands. Okay, into the swords, got our ace, and the pile of books is creating the arch here. Two. It's funny because with, the, with this ace, you're getting the kind of a Tarot decks will either look at the swords as being the suit that's about intellect and learning and understanding and information and all the ways we process it, um, or it's the suit about the shit things that happen to us, basically, you know, the difficult difficulties in life. Um, so this gives the impression that this is going to be, you know, this is going to take a much more intellectual route than the kind of, uh, maybe the standard um, Smith way. Um, but then we, the, with the two, we have, you know, we have this, you know, the falling out, the stalemate, they're not talking to each other, the swords are crossed. Three, we have the three swords through the heart again, you know, the, the solar busca, we, we have the, one of the roses has died here. Um, so there's been a heartbreak of some kind. Four of swords, someone's on a holiday, you know, rest and recuperation. Five, we get this kind of a this argument happening, um, and they're not the ones that are taking it the worst. You know, their their kids are obviously hearing it, um, and they're getting upset by it. Six, going on that journey to Camel Waters. Seven, you know, you get this idea of deception of sneaking out. Eight, trapped feeling. <clears throat> All right, okay, so there, there's a key, there's a padlock on this and she has the key around her neck and there is that space where she could reach through and and unlock herself so you still get the idea that, that she has the power the nine of swords what is she burning So 
the top bit of paper that's burning me at this bit here says together forever um, this looks as though it says love on it so is she burning love letters interesting not exact I mean the, the way that the card is structured it looks lo like the normal nine of swords but it's not exactly doesn't have that quite same feel to it I don't think uh, <clears throat> excuse me ten of swords um, so we see the divorce certificate on the table um, so it's been finalized you know it's up to them whether they put it behind them and move on or are they going to be you know are they, are they struggling with it um, were they for it were they in agreement with the decision to get divorced looks so the ring's been taken off and left on the table so I wonder what the significance of the swords and the clock is Page of Swords The Knight This looks more like I would expect a Knight of Wands to look, you know, up on two legs Queen, very dark card this very dark and murky all oh, that's kind of a I don't know if this is choppy waters or if that's the air behind her and a, a very cheery happy looking king of swords Okay. Cup suit. Have her ace. I think this ace of cups is stunning. We just have this cup. Looks like it's in the ocean. Um, when I've um, been shuffling this deck, this card keeps popping out for me, so it does. Two of cups. Really nice. Three of Cups. Fun party. Four of Cups. And she's like her, I think she's her normal, um, you know, Four of Cups character. Five Brave Twiddle Six See them looking at the reflection in the water. And do they look a bit younger there, do you think? And the reflection? Definitely not the same face that we're seeing. The eyes are open and the smile's wider here. Seven. She's been offered all these choices. Faces here look like quite deceptive, quite crafty, don't they? Eight. Oh, it's a moving van, isn't it? Nine. 
and a wee bath and a wee glass of wine. And our ten of cups. That would be closer if it focuses better. Page. Quite traditional. The fish flying from the cup. Or night. So, this looks like Lucifer. Tom Ellis in the middle. See, he's got his hand round a female presenting person here and a male presenting person here. So open to love in all its forms. Well, a variety of its forms, shall we say. Queen of Cups. And our king. Finally, our pentacles. So we have our ace of pentacles, which is another stunning card as far as the art is concerned. The two. Traditional two, three. Doesn't quite have the same feel to it, you know. You see them pointing at a photograph. You know, you've still got the same number of characters, but he's pointing to his what you would assume is his work rather than seeing him doing it. I'm not sure. Four. Five. So I'm not sure what's happening here. This looks like a bride who's on the outside of the church looking in. And the curtains are making are forming these two faces. So I don't know what we're seeing here. She's somehow shot out. Six. So I like this because there's an exchange here. Do you know what I mean? They're they're both bringing something to the table. Um. This girl's bringing something you would assume of monetary value, you know, like the, the pentacles. And then this person's bringing, we see love hearts coming out of this box. Seven of pence. Again, this is an unusual one. He's on one knee, I don't know if he's about to propose to her, but then she does not look happy at all. So this is quite often a card about picking the right time to do something. Eight. Everything's going well. well. They've got quite a comfortable life together. Quite a nice card. The Nine of Pence. That's more traditional, I would say. And the Ten. Again, another traditional one. This looks like a a granda with his, his grandkids and kids around them. A page. Oops. A 
a night. A queen. And our king. Okay guys, as I said before, this is quite a nice size, so in terms of overhand shuffling, it's pretty easy to do. Camera's going a bit funny there. Um, overhand's quite nicely, as long as your hands can, can hold the cards, I guess. Um, I suppose you need to do it long ways if you wanted to. Um, it does riffle shuffle nicely. Um, but... It's going to affect the gilding, so if that bothers you, then it's maybe just one to overhand. In terms of a wee spread to um, throw some cards for us to let us see the deck in action, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to pull the cards from one of the activities from uh, last Sunday's uh, Tarot Playdate. Um, so it was the first of the Tarot Playdate 2.0s, so we got the Three of Swords, um, and there were various different suggestions for spreads that we could do um so i've been meaning to try out some of the spreads so i thought i would do one of them here and i'm going to pick donna's donna riedler's um so the three of swords is the subject so let let me first of all find that card and the deck Oh, there we go. So I'm taking what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that and then I'm going to take the three cards after it um, for my spread. Um, so we've got our three of swords as the subject matter, and then the three kind of our spread positions that Donna says are what have brought what's brought me to this place. What is it that's keeping me here? and what will help me move forward okay so what's brought me to this place we've got the three of pentacles interesting what's brought me to a place well I mean, we're looking at the situation we're looking at is you know the three of swords um like i said in the in the flip through i tend to look at the three of swords as a card about expanding your knowledge um expanding your learning maybe um, I don't so much tend to see it about a card about a heartbreak and whatnot, but it's pretty hard to get away from in this image. Um, what I would say, you know, from the image, we can say it's at least about how our, our intellect, our logical minds and our emotional selves um, can clash sometimes. Okay, so there's a bit of a clash between the, you know, the intellectual side and the emotional side. Um, and it's, you know, trying to reconcile that. What's got us to there? I mean, it seems to be some sort of um, creative endeavour. That's what I would see with the uh, um, the Three of Pentacles. We maybe tried to work with other people in order to create something, and it's maybe caused a bit of a rift. Okay, what is it that's keeping us there at the moment? We've got the Two of Cups, so there's a bit of a commitment there. So maybe the the person that we've tried to do something with is actually someone quite close to us, and it's not as easy as just distancing ourselves from that person um there's maybe going to have to be a bit more work put into it in order to repair whatever is causing this situation and then what can help me move forward five of swords okay so we need to wake up and realize the the you know right now these two are having an argument they're having quite a heated argument shouting and bawling at each other you know you see fingers being pointed on both sides you know it's all about you know you're to blame for this you're to blame for that it's a battle of the egos you know this is this is effectively a dick mission competition this is a kind of a try to get as many points behind your belt as you can so as that you can feel that you're the winner right what they don't realize is the effect that this is having on their kids you know the unforeseen effects think about the unforeseen effects that's what's going to help us move forward out of this situation put the ego aside okay like try not to do that brownie points thing you know when you get yourself heated up and you get yourself into a perhaps a disagreement with someone 
it can be so easy to just be like, oh, you know, well, this, 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 and this, you know, this is why I'm right, you know, this is why you're wrong, and it can be so easy to get down that path and really hard to pull yourself out of it. Um, but I think it's just a call to step back and look at the situation as a whole, you know, how important is, you know, what it is that you're trying to do, um, is it worth all of this, do you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, we maybe need to take a step back and look at the bigger picture, take some time to appreciate the effects that this situation is having, and maybe just the, you know, I, I feel as though if these parents were to, like, take a minute, take a minute to chill out, just get away from each other, once they realise that, the, that their kids are on the other side of the counter and they've heard, they've, they're overhearing what's happening, once they realise how upset they are, they know, they're automatically, their, their focus is shifted to the kids, you know? Um, and they're back on the same team trying to console and, and make their kids okay again. And that's that, that kind of a, almost inadvertently brings them back together. Um... So just taking some time away from the situation to look at the bigger picture is going to help us move forward out of this. Okay, guys. So that was the Modern Love Tarot by Ethany, illustrated by Lucy Morningstar. Hope that you've enjoyed this. Take care, everyone, and I shall see you later.